Don Barnes is the commentator. St Johnston boss Sandy Clark sticks with the same starting 11 which beat Celtic in midweek which means John O'Neill has passed a fitness test and lines up in his usual midfield role and Nathan Lowndes has recovered from concussion to partner Georgia Boyle up front. Unbeaten in their four matches under Sandy Clark, a lot of credit goes to goalkeeper Alan Main who's recorded five clean sheets in the last seven games. The United boss Paul Sturrock makes four changes from Wednesday's draw with Dunfermline Magnus Skoldmark returns to the three-man defence, while Craig Easton and Frenchman Bernard Pasquale come back into the lineup in midfield. The other change is Billy Dodds, who makes his first starting appearance for United since his midweek move from Aberdeen. Ironically, it's against one of his former clubs, and here at the same stadium where he made his last outing for the Dons last Saturday. The referee is Stuart Dougal from Burnside. So St Johnston get the first meeting of this season between the sides underway. Last season in their four meetings it was one victory each and two draws and both those draws 1-1 both here at McDermott Park. So St Johnston boss Sandy Clark looking for the side to maintain their home form. They're unbeaten in five games at McDermott Park this season. Another chance for United to break with Billy Dodds. Still going forward as Billy Dodds onto his right foot, trying for the shot, but Kernahan stepped in well. The blocking tackle there from Alan Kernahan. Billy Dodds doing all the running there. Olofsson. Dodds. Back to Easton. Wide to Jenkins again. Dodds with a header, it's a good one, and a marvellous goal from Billy Dodds, his first starting appearance for Dundee United, and he breaks the deadlock with 15 and a half minutes played. It was good play on the right hand side, Jenkins getting in the cross, you thought that Dodds was too far out to score with a header, but the former Aberdeen player opens his account for the Tannadice club against one of his former sides. It's St Johnston 0, Dundee United 1. O'Boyle. Looking for McMahon. Solid tackle from Darren Patterson. McMahon's in a bit of agony now. Felt the full impact of that challenge, did Jerry McMahon. The player still has not moved, so this certainly is a serious injury. So the Northern Ireland International carried off in a stretcher after 26 minutes of this match. So Alan Preston's a man who comes on to take McMahon's place. Now Olofsson releases Pasquale again down the left hand side to try to follow forward. Olofsson. McSwiggin, McSwiggin back to Olofsson, Olofsson was he impeded there by Stuart McCluskey, he was, and that's a penalty to Dundee United, and a red card for Stuart McCluskey, the third red card of the season for St Johnston, so Stuart McCluskey the last man there in that incident, so Stuart McCluskey makes his way up the tunnel, and Billy Dodge strikes the penalty, Billy Dodd's second goal of the afternoon comes after 35 minutes. No mistake there from the former Aberdeen striker. He really is having a marvellous start to his Tannadice career. Free kick flighted in by Jenkins. Header away by Kernahan. Pasquale returns it. McSwiggin knocks it into the area. It's all left for Dodds. Can he chip it over the keeper? No, good goalkeeping here by Alan May. Almost the chance for the hat trick there for Billy Dodds. The ball bobbling about inside the area. It just bounced too high for Dodds to try and flight that over the top of the goalkeeper. But Alan Main did well. Roddy Grant will come on for St Johnston. And the man who will go off is Nathan Lowndes. Mr Boyle. King. 
Preston looking for support from Bolin. Gets it. Cross comes in there. Dasovic now. Roddy Grant, his first touch. And almost getting on the score sheet with his first effort there. Only on the field of play a few seconds. And when that cross came in from the left-hand side, Grant got in front of his marker. He's appealing that a United defender got a touch to divert that. Settlement. Dodge is there. Working hard. So back to Olofsson. Cross comes in. McSwiggin! Marvellous strike from Gary McSwiggin. Just over the top there. Good play by Dodds and Shell Olofsson in the left-hand side. McSwiggin saw the opportunity for the volley, nipping in in front of the defender. But his shot, well, just off the top of the crossbar. Rudy Grant going in hard there on Skoldmark. That ball is played forward. Now United can break. Olofsson in towards Dodds. The chance for the hat-trick. Great save by Alan Main. Dodds had found that space at the front post as Olofsson found him. He took the touch and swept that ball in, but Alan Main was out advancing to make the save. Scold mark. Finds McSwiggin. Now uh, Jenkins. Dodds chesting it down to McSwiggin. The return pass in towards Billy Dodds. Will he get it this time? Chance for Dodds to knock in the hat trick. And he does! What a marvellous afternoon for Billy Dodds! The second hat trick of the season. Great play in the edge of the area by United. They waited patiently. The one two between McSwiggan and Dodds. The ball eventually came down, and there was Dodds knocking it into the back of the net. Boyle. Forward looking for Roddy Grant, score marks there, but Grant gets a chance. Goes round the goalkeeper and Roddy Grant will he knock it in. It's a goal back for St Johnston. Score mark was caught napping there. Dykstra advanced from his goal, the ball broke for Roddy Grant. And the substitute turned that ball in off the post. And Roddy Grant gets his first goal of the season. in this near side certainly has his flag raised for something certainly spotted something it's to do with one of the players on the field of play nothing to do with the technical area although he's quite close to it and Shell Olofsson who's been called to Wharton referee Stuart Dougal will have a word with him and it's a red card so Shell Olofsson sent off there the near side linesman spotting that infringement. It was an off the ball incident. A lofted ball from McSwiggin. It shouldn't be much trouble for Dodds, but he miscontrols. Easton releases Dodds. Chance for the fourth. Billy Dodds shoots straight at Alan May. The goalkeeper stood up to it well. A mistake by Darren Dodds allowing Craig Easton to take advantage he played the ball into the path of Billy Dodds and his shot blocked by the feet of Alan Main Billy what a start to your Dundee United career your first starting appearance and you scored a hat-trick it's, uh, it's very cool stuff to be quite honest with you uh, I, I thought the team played magnificent today uh, we got the ball down, we played we got it wide, we got crosses in I mean, hopefully I'll always get goals off that when you get crosses coming in like that we don't expect to score from that distance with headers though that's right uh, I, I couldn't believe myself to be honest with you the ball come over I shut my eyes header in the top corner that's the best thing <laughs> we had to start building and um, put foundations down for the season uh, the disappointment is we're still bottom of the table to buy, by all accounts tonight but it, I do feel that we seem today uh, a better organised and a better uh, shaped team from the, the last couple of games and I do feel there was a confidence in and the players to, to pass the ball much better than they've, they've, uh, they've done in the games lately. I mean, a wee move sometimes does you good. I maybe went a wee bit stale at Aberdeen, but I love my time there and I got on well with the fans. I'm sad to leave, but I mean, it's a new career for me and uh, hopefully a lot more goals to come for Dundee United.